Welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. As I said on the last one, when I previewed this thing, I was going to go ahead and do a quick video on tearing it down and all the components and parts and what it looks like behind this white aluminum housing. But while that thing was running right there, I went ahead and timed it. Now, got to realize it's not pulling up the well very far. It's just pulling out of that drum. But it is doing a two and a half quarts in 10 seconds, which kind of works out to 15 quarts in a minute. So that's just a quart shy, four gallons a minute that it's pumping. Um, uh, that's on 12 volts. 24 volts would double that. But like I said, if you were down 100 feet, you're going to lose some of it just for uh, pulling it up that far. But let me go ahead and we're going to lay this thing down and I'm going to point out a few things and thank some people for some other comments. And let's go ahead and see what this thing all looks like well here it is we have it set up on the trailer here on this pallet we're ready to hold an autopsy on it and as i keep saying if you changed or modified some of my stuff let me know well mr jim and i don't quite know i don't want to give people's last names or i guess locations but on the regular hand pump he had some things that he did different where I've been using a three-quarter inch check valve because that's also what's this is the this is your basic pump right here That's what goes in there Where this goes down from inch and a quarter to three-quarter for a check valve He goes down to one inch and he said it's easier to draw the water in through a one inch check valve than a three-quarter inch check valve So there's there's might be one step up for everything going on but this right here is your standard hand pump pump bill. And as I said, with this metal handle, you have about 11 inch stroke. That's all you really can get out of it efficiently with your body and all. And if you go back to my original video, I said, well, you can make this pipe chamber, the pump chamber, a lot longer. And that's because I had already built this thing and I was kind of finishing it up. But what it is, is for demonstration purposes, this thing right here, with it hooked down here at the bottom of that chain to there, it's got about a 17 inch stroke. And like I said, we pumping just shy of four gallons a minute with it. But this rod, and this one's a little bit shorter because it is hooked all the way down through here to here. This is one fiberglass rod section it's a four foot rod and it is actually hooked to the pump it's actually hooked to the end of the uh plunger and it's just because even sitting in in the drum when i take it somewhere it's kind of high already but this right here down here it's bottom end of the stroke and this one comes all the way up to here so this right now the way i have it built is actually a 17 inch stroke right here pretty close to it and you could go as far as 23 inches but when you build this thing if you use this fiberglass rod and it ends right here at the changeover part or right up in here in your piece of pipe you should get almost a 40 inch stroke out of it if you want to go that far okay that being said like i said this pump end, the actual cylinder pump, is the same that's in the hand pump bill. That's all it is. It's the same thing. Like I said, just make it longer to get a longer stroke. This is your piece of steel pipe that would actually, on top of your well casing, be going right through the well cap. The T coming out to hold on to the handle and then going up. <coughs> and I'll show this when we roll it over. This is the T part going down there. I've got hooked up to a plate to be able to mount it on this thing. Like I said, when it goes in the well, it just sits right here at the well casing. Everything else here is the same. And where you've used a steel rod for a pump rod or sucker rod out the top for the hand pump to make it stiff enough so it don't bend, we just go ahead and put another section of fiberglass rod on it and bring it on up as i said before 
I just used it's it's kind of heavy. It's number 50 link chain. I can get this stuff at local place and all, but surplus center catalog for the DIY type people. And I'll have a picture of that here at the end of the video if I remember to put it on. This is just a a 50 link 16 tooth sprocket. And this is just one with an idler pulley in it that just holds the bottom end of it and like i said we just welded this thing right here is and you can also get these at surplus center it is uh or get them off of a front end of a riding lawnmower half inch thread right there half inch 20 thread here and we welded half inch 20 thread nuts onto the main link right here just right there ground that two down and tacked one there and yeah i was going to the trade show so i tacked one on the other side in case one come off i didn't have to hear a bunch of stuff from people and they make attachment links i really just didn't have the time to find it but i found out just welding the nuts on works just fine but like i said i created it this was my first prototype so it's just made out of wood and yeah you could make it out of steel or aluminum or channel iron or a whole bunch of things but like i said i try to keep my projects where anybody else can build it and where i can weld aluminum and everything in the shop everybody else might not be able to but um we'll roll this thing over and like i said it's a piece of three quarter inch plywood on the top and two one by fours and then I've got some boards across the back just to hold it. We'll take the other side off and take the back off. And let me show you where the motor's mounted and how it's done. And I'll show you some more of this thing. Well, here's the back side of it. And like I said, all this thing really is, is a 24-volt motor off of a wheelchair. Of course, I just used a little quick connect plug. And all I did was... Well, the bracket on that end of the pipe for this demonstration, like I said, yours would be hanging on the, uh, the pump coming up out of the well. I did, if you can see it here, I cut a notch. And all this does is let that idler pulley slide up and down. I'll show you that a little bit better view of that on the other side. We put a couple little screws in it for tighteners. But like I said, this... Here's one that this is the, from one side. This is the left and this is the right. But here's all it is. It's a right angle drive. And all we did was we used the, the hub that the wheel was on and just drilled holes and put the gear right on top of it. Got it as centered as I could. But this thing, uh, of course, it says right here. Right here's the plate on it. Not that that means anything. Um, of course, it's got Ohio and the name of the company on it and how great it is. And then it says Made in China. So, uh, I think everything comes from there. But what the RPM of the motor is doing, I don't know. It's gear reduced in here. And if it's made to pull somebody around up and down hills on a wheelchair, I've never had a problem with the couple that we have out here working on pumps ever failing because of the electric motor failing. Um, it's geared down. It's got thermal protection in it, so it's good. Um, like I said, you can get these off eBay. Um, sells them used. A lot of people think a lot about them. I actually buy wheelchairs, the whole thing from Habitats or off of Craigslist for parts. If there's a wheelchair repair place in your town, you can get them there and just tell the guy all you need is one that works. Nothing special. But before I get away from it, let me screenshot this thing here for you. And this is Surplus Center Catalog. If you've never heard of it, pause the video and copy it down. Here's their website. Here's the phone number. But this thing has everything from new and used motors, hydraulics, electric components, all kind of stuff in it. But here's what they call the 
this is the end on the end of that rod it's a threaded rod end and it's got all the thread pitches right there and we're using the the half inch 20 right there and it's sixteen dollars and fifteen cents this is a 19 2019 catalog so it's not too old but they got everything in the world here for the DIY. A couple pages back, they've got all the sprockets. And like I said, I used 50 pitch in order to get the nut on the chain. And an actual 16 tooth one. And that gear is $10.70. They sell rolls of chain, the connecting links, hubs. They got everything in the world in here for a DIYer. It's called Surplus Center. If nothing else, call them up and get them to send you a catalog. Get on their list. But if you're into hydraulics and building log splitters or electric components, electric motors, oil filters, new and used cylinders, they've got it. Well, here's a little bit closer. And all this is in order to clear for the rod here I welded a nut on a piece of all thread rod then ground it down trying to get it smooth because actually when I did it that's all I had but I got a big old plate right there with a hole in it and it's just push it down I actually have a little slot cut drilled two holes and cut it out between it so if the chain gets loose you can slide it down this way you don't have to make it precision you can just put whatever links on it and slide it down but in order to hold it tight we slide it down tighten that nut up with on the other one and then we put two screws here just to push down on that plate and actually that plate right there comes from home depot and that is a square plate that you bolt down on top of an anchor that uh, holds your house to the foundation yes i scrounged it off the job because i don't like to buy much of anything well, there it is. If everybody's interested in it, I'm actually going to tear one down and actually give measurements and specifications. Oh, one other thing. The housing that goes around that thing, because I took it to a trade show and there's some people there that think they're the water and fire gurus of the world. This thing right here, of course, it came from Habitat. They had a bunch of it, and it is just the wrap that goes around a column on the front of a house. That's all it is. I made the box to kind of fit around that thing. But if you want to make it look a little bit prettier, that's all it is. You can do it out of wood or anything else. I just had this thing sitting right there. I bought a piece of it and two pieces and chopped it up in length. Made it kind of nice looking to take it to a trade show. But um, like I said, total cost in this thing is less than $100 to build the motor end of it. Neat thing is, is if you've already built the pump and everything else, it's already there. And I've got some videos of where we put these things up. I'm going to try to show them things to you. They're still working. Boys use them every day. But if you like, if you like this kind of stuff, give me a thumbs up. Like it, share it, subscribe, tell your friends about it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.